Recently, I confessed something to Ian that I did over the last year. He and John have encouraged me to come forward and to tell a congregation. So here goes. I read the entire Bible in 2020. <laughs> now I'm not here to brag or to tell you that I did something great. The Bible warns us about being boastful. Matthew 23, 12 says that whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. So I'd like to humbly tell you how my reading the Bible this past year came about. Last January, during a service, Ian spoke about different plans that were available for people to use that would help them get through the entire Bible in just one year. Now I know that a lot of you are already coming up with reasons why you would not be able to do this. The main one being, I don't have the time. I use that same excuse in my head too. However, God reminded me about how much time I had for being on Facebook, for watching TV, and a number of other things that I seemed to find the time for because I wanted to. So, I committed to doing the best that I could. My wife, Suzanne, printed off a copy of the Gospel Coalition's Daily Devotional Reading Plan, and I started. As the days went by, my reading became a habit, and then a habit became something that I was looking forward to doing. And soon I found that I was learning a lot. Being in God's Word brought me great comfort in this past year. It wasn't always easy, and there were many names of people and places in the Bible that I didn't know how to pronounce. There were days that I would miss and I would get behind on my schedule. And then there were days that I wanted to read more and I would get ahead on my schedule. Through reading God's Word, I feel that I've become a much more patient person, patient with my wife and daughter and the rest of my family, patient with people that are believers and patient with people that are not believers. It seems to me that every story you finally find in the end that God was with them. And no matter what the hardship was, what they were going through, God helped them make it through that. And in the end, everything was okay. My hope here is for you to see that I am a person just like you. And with God's help, I was able to do this. I read the entire Bible. And I must admit, I felt a great sense of accomplishment when I had finished. So, I would like to encourage you to just get started. Find a plan. And maybe it takes you two years. Well, great. It's not about how fast. It's about reading God's Word. God is pleased any time we are in His book. I pray that with the help of God, a seed will be planted today. A seed that will grow into a desire for you to read God's Word. Thank you, and may God be with you.